Hi there folks, today we're checking out the Soundcore Flare Mini. Let's do this. Hi there folks, and welcome back to Novum Verum. Today we have the Soundcore by Anchor Flare Mini Portable Waterproof Speaker. Um, it's kind of weird <laughs> that they have the name of the product in such small fonts up here. And then they put here, popping 360 degree sound. I think it'd be best to uh, actually have the name of the product more prominent. But anywho, uh, as you can see, it's a personalized box, which is great. It actually came in, oh, here it is, um, in a plastic bag uh, initially with just a piece of tape holding it together. But I just removed that uh, ahead of time. Um, but yeah, uh, there is a factory seal right here in the form of a sticker, uh, which I always appreciate. So let's go ahead and crack her open, shall we? Now, I've obviously seen a ton of Anchor products as well as Soundcore products. For some reason, they do differentiate between the two, even though they're the same manufacturer or brand. Ooh. Huh. That's weird to have foam at the top, but not at the bottom, but okay. So that's a unit right there, but we'll set that aside. Let's just have a look real quick at these. So that is the manual, and I'm guessing that's like a little card asking you to do a review for them. And here we have, I believe this is micro USB, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just have a quick look here. Yep, micro USB charging cable. Perfect. Alrighty, let's crack her open. I know there are some people who unbox things and they just tear into it. Um, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Um, so there's a few blemishes on here. So I see it's a lot smaller than I expected. I actually was expecting it to be a little taller, maybe a little thicker. Um, but here at the top, we have the controls. Not too sure what the Soundcore um, logo does, but we have the power up here. We have Bluetooth. Not too sure what this other icon is. It's kind of like a little starburst or, I don't know, very odd. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Let me just bring it up closer. Oh, there you go. Um, and then we have plus and minus, um, I guess for volume or for skipping um, tracks. And yeah, there's that anchor soundcore logo there. I'll obviously look at the manual and see what that's all about. Sound logo, flare mini, and I'm guessing this is hiding the charging port. Cool. No aux connection. 
which is odd. It's usually uh, something I see constantly in all of these uh, speakers. And here we just have the usual, it's actually pretty cool. It's, uh, it's embossed or pressed rather. Um, all of the legal stuff, model number and all that. Well, there we go. And this is supposedly an LED ring around here. So we'll see that. I don't think it's necessary, but hey, it's all good. Now, this fabric that they have over this, um, there's no movement to it really so I'm guessing it's um, glued on to whatever structure they have there probably like a, a metal mesh uh, cylinder in there but anyhow there you have it the Soundcore mini flare I'm gonna get it all charged up connect to my phone and we'll take it for a test drive Game on, folks. Be right back. Thanks. All right, folks. Here we are all set up. Just want to show you guys real quick what I'm doing here. Um, so I just recently reviewed the Mookie MCM-1 uh, shotgun microphone, which is uh, there, as you can see. Now, I discovered that having it pass through my wireless lab system actually captures better audio this way. So that's what I'll be doing for this particular test. Now from the very tip of the microphone here, all the way to the Soundcore mini flare on my unboxing shelf over here. That is exactly six feet. Uh, and that will be the distance that I'll be working with in order to capture this audio. Here we go, guys. All right, folks. We are about to start the audio test for the Soundcore Mini Flare. Uh, once again, I'll be starting off at 25% volume, increasing to 50, 75, and then maxing it out at 100%. Um, just want to reiterate the distance between the microphone and the speaker is exactly six feet or 183 centimeters. Alrighty, here we go. So this is at 25%.
clarity is ridiculous. So I can hear the water swishing. It's post-warm time for the Soundcore Mini Flare. And this little guy is a keeper, folks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the design, the cylindrical design and the upright positioning. But this is very comparable to the Monster SU-10 Superstar they did back in December during Christmas. Um, sound quality is great bass extremely strong like uh, even at like 50 percent i could feel the bass in my feet it was absolutely amazing um clarity is rather good uh all things considered but uh even at max volume i didn't detect that much uh distortions which is usually you know when i would hear something or whatever distortions becomes more amplified um sorry whatever distortions existed becomes more uh amplified as you increase the volume and i didn't really get that from this um i found that the highs mids and lows were on point and the bass again very very strong um they in that particular track they use um a sound bite of water flowing and it was coming through very, very clear. Even right at the beginning of the track, they have it there at 25%, I could hear it. And at 100%, again, it's there, it's not distorted. It's really, really clear. Um, even, you know, the little piano keys and everything else um, was coming through perfectly. Uh, obviously not audiophile uh, perfect, um, I would never ever say that there's only a I haven't tested anything <laughs> honest to goodness that that comes close to audiophile except maybe the Sennheisers and the Sony's when I did the active noise cancelling headphones um, series um, but speaker wise definitely nothing has come close and I think this and the S310 Superstar are very much on point now, the Soundcore logo is actually a multifunction button on here, um, and that's how you play and pause your music as well as um, move backwards and forwards through your track list. Um, the plus and minus are just dedicated volume controls, and the little sunburst over here is actually how you cycle through the different presets of the RGB ring light here at the bottom. Um, the Bluetooth uh, logo also is a button to connect to a second uh, speaker um, to be able to get that stereo surround sound going. So yeah, pretty impressive. Um, everything about this uh, is great. Like I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, you know, I was going to mention something about the ring light uh, being rather useless, but I get it. It's some people really enjoy it. Um, and at the very least, you can turn it off completely if you don't want to see it. So there is that. Um, <laughs> this is waterproof and yeah, like <laughs> there's really nothing bad I can say about this. Um, now, I did purchase this through Amazon, uh, but it's the same price on the Soundcore website itself. Um, and it was for just under $66 Canadian, I believe like 65 
89 um, but at the time of purchase there was a $10 coupon so I got it for $55.89 and one thing that was I found strange though was that this is the very first um, tech product I purchased through Amazon that actually added tax so I'm not too sure why um, but uh, in total uh, at just under $66 Canadian plus um, the $10 coupon and then tax on top of that it came out to just a little over $63 um, but this does fluctuate in price often enough that you could probably get it at a lot lower um, so yeah but I think overall even at, at uh, $55 uh, plus tax I think this is a great great purchase so yeah there you have it folks the Soundcore Mini Flare um, now real quick obviously my giveaway is still ongoing so please subscribe get your friends subscribe if you like the content hit that like button uh, if not hit that dislike button but please leave a comment and let me know exactly what I can improve upon so thank you once again folks as always I have more products on the way so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.